and welcome back to Let's Play Free Space. Another cutscene. When the destroyers came for us, we attacked. Never had we been defeated. They were like the others. Strange, hideous, resisting, fighting. Only these were not like the others. They did not die. We made our first retreat. We could forego one system. We left it to the destroyers and went elsewhere. But they followed. They hunted us. They followed us when we retreated, discovered where we lived. For a long time, we did not know why they chased us. They were no ordinary enemy. They did not seek our territory, our technology, our resources. Now we know our crime was sin. We just received some discouraging news from Terran Command pilots. At 0300 today, after the capture Tyrannus was towed to Tombaugh installation in the Ribo system, the Sheevan staged a major ambush. There isn't a lot of confirmation from the footage yet, but it's clear that a Sheevan destroyer of massive proportions Ooh. jumped in and destroyed Tombaugh station, along with all of its defenses. We have designated this new class of destroyer... They really didn't like us uh, taking their cruiser. and cruisers engaged the Lucifer who were wiped out quickly. Footage suggests that Lucifer was using a new type of shield impervious to any of our attacks. That's not good. The Sheevans indeed have managed to shield a vessel of that magnitude. It's merely a matter of time before they wipe out all frontline installations and march through to our home systems. Yeah. Since all attempts at communication with the Sheevans have ended in violence, it appears unlikely that a diplomatic solution will work. At this point, the Sheevans have control of Beta Cygni, Betelgeuse, Ross-128, Ikea, and Regulus. Most of the Vasudan forces are gathering in Vega for a counter-strike, while we are gathering our fleet in Antares for an effort to retake Ribos and Beta Cygni. Oddly enough, the Sheevans don't seem to be interested in taking control of any planets in the systems or gathering natural resources. Instead, they seem to be focused on controlling individual jump nodes. Research and development teams at Seoul have recently completed development on a few new weapons. A group of Terran scientists has returned from a previously unexplored system known as Alaramus and bring with them a new weapon called the Flail. The Flail is quite the different from our typical new weapons weapon. are coming along quite rapidly, no? I don't remember the Flail, I need to check up on that. Like it suggests I do. And finally the Intercepts have missiles. By combining the Vasudan designed engine with a Terran warhead, we were able to produce the most powerful anti fighter weapon yet. It's an aspect seeking missile and requires a few seconds to lock onto the enemy's engine signature, but its speed and accuracy make it lethal. Use it well. That is wonderful. Okay, let's see the what the. The Tomba attack must be evacuated from the rival system immediately. Ah, escorting survivors. This is bound to go horribly. <laughs> Other wings will be accompanying this convoy. Alpha Wing will be in charge of this operation and will have command authority. The convoy must reach the designated checkpoint. Escort from this point onward will be provided by Allied Vasudan forces, led by the PVD Pinnacle. Okay, so we need to get to a checkpoint, not the jump point. All over this system, and a good not that there's a large difference, but fighters. still. All hostile forces should be eliminated. <laughs> that goes without saying. Okay, what's the next stage? The PVD Pinnacle will be arriving at the designated checkpoint. This Typhon-class destroyer has one of the most skilled crews in the PVE. It will escort the refugees for the remainder of their journey. Help the Pinnacle until it has dismissed you, then return to base. Many lives depend on this operation. Good luck. Please review your right. objectives for this mission. Yeah, we can go with the Valkyrie. 
and uh, ah okay so low energy usage kinetic weapon moderate shield damage huh I wonder if I should take an Apollo just to check out the flail So, ten of those, and then eight of these. Oh, eighty of these. Mm -hmm. Looks good. I can't remember what was the downside of this. Uh, seem to recall that I didn't use this flail all that much, but it does have moderate shield damage. Whereas uh, the Avenger only has low. So I guess this could be... Uh, sort of really useful against the shieldwins because they tend to have really really good shields. Okay, let's just uh, jump right into it. Okay, uh, I had to take a bit of a break there, but luckily I was uh, didn't have to cut in the middle of the mission. Okay, so let's get let's get on with this. Actually, now I, before I even start, I really need to check check on this. What is this one? This, this is number six. It's five. This is eight. Five, six, seven, eight. What was uh, button 5 bound, bound at? So yeah, as you can see there are like ridiculous amount of... Next hostile bomber bomber. Yeah, I can deal with that. Actually... Where's the... Next subsystem is yeah S. Ship in reticle, I can do there. Next ship. Closest hostile ship. Target targets nearest. Okay. It's like turret K. Okay. I will be forgetting most of those, but I'm hoping some some of the more important ones will stick. Let's Did you see what was left of Ribos? I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, I think I can give my guns on a lower a energy setting. Yeah, well, we haven't seen the biggest sh ships yet. What we've seen have been like small time fighters and cruisers and such. I'm really not looking forward to seeing the Lucifer thing. That thing looks like a, it's going to be a bitch to take down. It's impervious to our attacks. How are we supposed to. What are you doing? Stop showboating. <laughs> Just flying formation, damn it. But yeah. Uh GTFR Nelson requesting assistance. Sheevan forces hit our wing. We have taken severe hull damage. I am guessing they're coming out in after you right arrive. now. Yep. I'm guessing you guys won't be jumping away anytime soon. So let's go on it. Oh, never mind. You actually did jump away straight away. 
And I'm guessing that's because... Yeah. There was no, no way we could have destroyed all three of them in that amount of time. And uh, yeah. They have probably notified the rest of Shivan fleets uh, the rest of Shivan fleet about uh, our heading and composition uh, like wing composition and uh, yeah here they come okay all fighters just break an attack right. let's try and get rid of these guys before they manage to blow up our refugee transports yeah I know I am very much aware of that thank you I would do something about it but I have to get rid of this bomber because if I know something about bombers it is that they are good at taking out Let me get behind you, one not you? Thank you. And there we go. Try to fly into the sun, eh? That was a decent tactic. Didn't work, but it was a decent tactic nonetheless. Hello, boys. I'm behind you. I'm using my interceptors quite liberal liberally right here, but I feel that it's required to manage to keep uh, the craft we are escorting alive. Oh, there are Basudans in here. That's cool. More of these. That was interesting. Don't know what you attempted to accomplish there, but my friend, but whatever it was, didn't work all that well. No, 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 no. Don't you go running away from me, boy. Or then again, you may just run away from me because you are too freaking fast. Thank you. Luckily, there weren't any bombers at that point in time, because uh, if there were, those transports would have been screwed. I'm going to get your attention now, thank you. Or maybe yours. Yeah, thanks. Just thank you. Mm, well behaved, these human fighters. That one came straight at me and then just stopped. Waited for me to take a couple of shots at it. Very considerate of them. Okay, so our... Ooh, we got really far off all our... I'm on it. Escortees. Just I, th I think I'll boost my engines to the max just to get back here in decent enough clip. And that's good enough, and I can lower my uh, gun charge rate to one less than max because and actually I can Support call for a resupply at this point. I'm really lucky. May even have the chance to finish with the resupply before any additional enemies arrive. That's something that I failed to do in like uh, previous episodes but I'm really hoping that I got enough time right now. Complete, sir. Cool. 
Thanks. Those ten additional interceptors. Oh crap. I really hope they haven't taken out the big ship and then jump on our face. Ooh. Ooh, she is a big one. And also a beauty. Nice. You beautiful, beautiful thing. Where are you guys coming from? The coming from the sun there. Uh, basilisks. Not all that scary considering we have these big hulking, big hulking beast right here and. Uh, several other wings of fighters, so... Although, those missiles will hurt. I don't usually trust my countermeasures nearly as much as I do myself, uh, like doing good uh, dodges and dukes. Basically, opposite of what I was doing right there, right then. Where is the next one? Alright, let's just take you. I thought that there were more fighters in the vicinity, but uh, yeah, quite a long way away. Secondary objective complete. We got rid of most of the enemy vessels, I assume. Thank you for your assistance. We can take it from here. Alpha and Beta return to base. We. Did my wingman jump away? I know I've. Uh, already completed the mission, just kind of waiting to see if something dramatic happens. No? Cool. I was kind of afraid that the Shivans would launch an attack against this uh, big Vasudan beast here. Obviously not, so yay! Managed to protect all the civilians. Great job, Alpha One. You managed to save all three of the IOTA transports from the Shivan attack. We were told by the crew of the Pinnacle to congratulate you on a job well done. The civilians on those transports owe you their lives as well. That's good. Makes me feel a lot better about that um, shield prototype escort mission. That went completely tits up, but this one, yeah, I'm really glad we managed to save everyone. We didn't lose any of our wingmates. Yeah, it was a good mission. So, uh, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Let's Play Free Space. Bye for now.